Remember the summer of 2008 when gas was nearly five bucks a gallon? Teresa Spinelli will never forget it. No, no! What the heck? That's because at the height of the record run-up in oil prices, she became part of a bold what-would-you-do hidden camera experiment. We wanted to see what people would do if they saw someone stealing another customer's gas right in front of them. Gas prices these days, you know? It's horrible. It's an idea we discovered on the internet. I'm stealing gas! And even though prices have fallen, times are still tough. So gas theft still goes on. Surf the web and you'll find a tank full of videos showing you how to do it. There's your drill pump, it says right here, do not pump flammable fluid, f*** them. And there you go, I don't know whose car this is, but uh, it works. So what would you do if it happened right in front of you? To find out, we hide our cameras in this station in Yorktown Heights, New York. As unsuspecting customers fill up their cars, two actors pull up to the pumps, one in a new SUV, the other an old compact. Those Subarus get good gas mileage. When the actor in the SUV goes inside for a cup of coffee, the guy in the red car springs into action. And we make it hard to miss what he's doing. Will the customers call him out or walk away? Watch this young girl closely. She'll do anything she can to avoid the thief's eyes. I like your shirt. Thank you. After all that, she leaves without saying a word. We even try the siphon trick we saw on the internet. I think it's pretty cool. Pumps about three gallons a minute. Not a peep from the pumps. <whistles> Gerald and Linda Heinz are the first to speak up. That is so wrong. Listen, look at his car, look at mine. Yeah, the poor guy is just complaining that he has to, he has to fill his Yeah, complaining. Up. He probably makes more in a week than I make in a year. Our thief drives off, but they get his license number. Sir. Sir, he just took your gas. Hey, buddy. Police. You could have just taken off. You didn't have to become involved right. at all. Well, I, we should have maybe went inside and found the fellow who's, who's still in the gas room. That's probably what we should have done. Smart thing you did was you, you I noticed. took his license plate. Yeah. 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 Does it matter what the thief is driving? What if he were filling up a big gas-guzzling truck? Remember Teresa Spinelli? Well, she couldn't care less. No, no! I get like six miles to the gallon in this thing. Are you freaking crazy? 700 bucks a month lease, man. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust you. You want to buy this? I can't give it away. I'm going to bust you. I'm going to borrow five gallons from it. Borrow. I'm going to bust you up. I'm almost out of here. Just come on. Yeah, come on, give man. Give me a break. You're crazy. Give me a break. You're robbing from him. That ain't right. You should be ashamed of You'll be doing the same thing pretty soon. It's messed up. But for all her yelling, Teresa doesn't do any telling. We run in before she drives off. It's what would you do? What do oh, you no do? kidding! No! <laughs> yes, that just happened. I was hollering at that gentleman. Is he an actor? Yes, he's an actor. You're an actor! <laughs> You're wonderful. Really, really oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So you were great because you right away told him. I mean, you, you made a noise. You confronted him, really, yeah, with I your did, words. I did, but I didn't do enough. Biker Stephen Muhart not only confronts the thief, he nearly yanks him out of his car. Whoa! Get the oh. the car. Are you serious? What are you talking about? You reached around and picked up the pump to the side to fill up the truck, get the out. One, two. We're not about to let him get to three. How are you? I'm Jai Quinones. We're doing a show about what you should do. And you're a hero. Wow. What? You were. Yeah, he looks American. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm, I'm an actor. And so I'm what, is, what is your name? Steve. What were you willing, what were you about to do? Well, detain him until, you know, if, if he really wanted to get into uh, an altercation with it, or, or at least push it to call the cops, he would have waited. Really? 
It's kind of risky. You never know what this guy might do. He doesn't know what I might do. What if it got physical? And then we'll take it to that level. During our long day at the pumps, this biker who works in a medical group's IT department is the only one willing to go that far. But this woman gets awfully close. Even though she's wearing a swimsuit, you can tell by the look on Kathy Madden's face, this isn't going to be another day at the beach. In our final plot twist, we make the thief a woman, and Kathy is right on her case. You guys are thinking in the right car. She's stealing your gas. What do you mean? She took the clothes out and put it in her car. Hi. Go look. She took it out of your truck. Sir, you Somebody want to call the police. Yeah. What, what happened? She's taking back. your gas. She's I'm putting it back in your thing now. We oh, just yeah. watched the whole thing. Our so actor we... accompanies yes. the brave bather back to the scene of the crime. Excuse me, ma'am. And as the thief tries to make her getaway, Kathy blocks the car with her body. I need to go to work. Can you move? Yeah. Can you please move? Wrong. I'm going to be late. What, what are you happened? talking about? She stole your gas. When she put that tank in her tank? I have money. I don't need to steal his gas. I have yes, you did. We watched you. We break in before things get ugly. Oh, no. How are you? Thank you for saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm John Kenyonis. So, oh my God! You are an amazing lady. <laughs> the gas is so expensive. <laughs> well, that's what she was complaining about. You, you had no sympathy for this woman. I don't care. Money's money. You know, you gotta pay for stuff. You stood in front of the car. I know. I was hoping she wasn't gonna hit me. It was a little risky what you did. Yeah. Why is it important? Because stealing, stealing. It's wrong. I have two kids, and I got three kids in the car. What do you hope they learn from this? That they learn not to steal. And that when somebody's doing something wrong, that you make sure they get in trouble for it. You never know how much it'll cost each day to top off your tank, but we certainly found some good values at these pumps.